good morning everyone. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my own practice with you this morning. So I'll just be walking and talking through it. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm just going to follow what feels right. So um, just find yourself in a comfortable seat and organize your body a little bit. Release any tensions that you can let go of. And just begin to find your breath. So much soothing can come from your breath. From here, I'm just going to begin to move some of the joints a little bit. So just letting the chin drop and a little side to side action here. It's slow, steady, easy, gentle, comfortable. No better time than now to be really gentle with yourself. And keep your breath moving. Letting your left ear stay at your left shoulder. Walk your right fingertips out. Breathe into the side of your neck. Let your chin come back down to your chest. And bring your ears over your shoulders. We're going to keep the left hand on the left knee. Right hand's going to come around behind for a gentle spinal twist. Mm. Come on back through neutral. Let your right hand come to your right knee. Chin comes down to the chest. And we'll let the left, uh, this is our right ear. Our right ear comes to our right shoulder. Those, those of y'all that know me know that my, my side mixing up and body part mixing up happens more often than, than I'd like to admit. So just letting your left hand come out and breathing into the side of your neck. Notice. That's, that's the yoga, the noticing. Not so much the shape making, that's secondary. Notice where the tension is and then noticing how the breath affects the tension. Good. Letting the chin come back down to the chest here. Ears back up over the shoulders. Keep your right hand on your right knee. Left hand is going to come around behind. Letting the breath move you in and out of this twist. You could think of it like an oscillating fan, a little in, a little out. Let's undo it here. Come back through to neutral. Bring your hands around behind. Draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart space. Maybe you even lift your chin. I have some really nice sun rays coming in right now, so it's kind of nice to see that. I didn't mention I'm at home, I'm in my living room, not using a yoga mat, I'm not using any props, just me, my breath. Come on back through neutral here, walk your hands forward and just begin to hinge forward here. Find your breath and try to stay grounded in this time of so much uncertainty, the, the effect of grounding, of feeling your body parts on the floor is so useful. Hmm. Again, notice where you're feeling sensation, making sure that level of sensation isn't too much. Begin to walk yourself up. We're just going to change the cross of our legs here. Changing the cross of the legs, bring the hands around behind, open up your heart space. 
I like to sway a little bit here. The chin can go up if the neck is agreeable to that. You can also bring your bottom teeth over your top teeth, really open up through the throat, our place of communication. Come on back through center here. Let your hands come out in front. Walk yourself forward. And when and if you feel your sitting bones, your butt bones begin to leave the floor, then press your hands down and forward. Stay right there. Breathe into it. Hmm. Relax where you can relax. Strengthen what needs to be strengthened. Walking yourself up here. We're going to take our right hand out to the right. Take your left arm up and over here. I've been playing around with bending my elbow, finding more space in the side of the body. Coming back through neutral at your left hand. Come down, bring your right arm up and over. Bending the elbow is optional. Turning the chin into the place where it feels the best for you. There's really no wrong way to do this because your body will let you know what feels good. Press down to come up. We're going to come on to all fours from here. <clears throat> so just making your way into all fours. And we're going to wake up the spine, waving the spine. So we might drop the belly down and then round the back up here, connecting this movement with the breath. Slow and easy. Easy does it. We're just trying to move some energy in our bodies here. So... If it feels good to go side to side. Stopping here in neutral, finding your table pose, all fours. Let your hips come back to your heels. Forehead might come to the mat. If it doesn't, bring a fist or two under your forehead here. Feel free to make some movement here and keep breathing mindfully. Come back up into all fours. Take your right leg back. Just come on your toes. Reach back through your heel. And then finding stillness here, we're just going to come on to the left fingertips. Walk your left fingertips forward. Reach the right leg, the left arm. Let your left hand come down. Bring your right foot forward and through in between your hands. Coming up, sweep your arms up. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. We'll Get a little movement going here. So let your left hand come forward and your right arm come back. Let your breath bring you back up into neutral with your torso pointing forward. And then as the left arm comes forward and the right arm comes back, you'll be facing, uh, in my case, I'm facing to what I'm calling the back of my room. Mm. Come back through neutral here. Let your hands come around behind. Interlace your hands. Reach your knuckles down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep lifting your heart space. Open up that front body. Undo here. Let both hands come inside of your right foot. We're going to slide our left knee back just a little bit. Dial your right toes to the upper right hand corner of your mat. And if it feels good, make a little movement here. Waking up the hips, getting these joints lubricated. So from here, my head's going to be turned. So I hope that you all will hear me fine. 
Keep your left hand on the mat. Bring your right hand into your right inner thigh. Stack your shoulders here. You might even roll onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot. And then an option to bend that back knee, which feels so good on the front of the thigh. If it's available, if it's not available to take your foot, maybe you just bend your knee. Maybe you don't do this at all. It's all good. I know some of you know that I ride my bike quite a bit. And since I've been doing that, uh, the front of my thighs get so tight. Let's release that. Come back through, frame it up. Bring your right knee back. Palm down, let's come into cow pose here. Relax your shoulders, your jaw. Roll your toes under here, see how that feels. We're just noticing here. And then from here, coming into a neutral spine, we'll take the left leg back, reach the heel back. Keep your breath moving, soft, smooth. And come up on to the fingertips, walk your fingertips forward. Reach the left leg and the right arm up here. Find your balance, balancing table. Let the right hand come down. Bring your left foot forward and through. Right knee can slide back a little bit. Walk yourself up. Let the arms sweep overhead here, keeping your shoulders relaxed, your jaw, your eyes. And a little bit of movement here by letting the right arm come forward and back. Connecting your breath to your movement. It doesn't matter when, if you're inhaling up or exhaling up. What matters is that you are breathing mindfully and connecting here. And we'll come back through center. Let both of your hands come down inside of your left foot. Right knee might slide back a little more. Dial your left toes to the upper left hand corner. Find a little bit of movement here. Keep breathing. Option to stay right here. Roll on to pinky toe edge, hand to thigh, stacking shoulders. Or maybe you come a little deeper and bend the back knee. I'm taking the foot. Now all these are options. The main thing is, is that you are being gentle, compassionate with yourselves. That is the true practice of yoga. If we get that, then all the rest comes into play. Let's undo here. Let your hand come down. And bring your foot back to neutral and bring your left knee back. From here, we're going to walk up into kneeling. So walking up into kneeling, bringing your hands onto your low back. Bring your elbows close, shoulder blades together. This could be enough right here, but we can also think about lifting up through the front body. This is camel pose or ustrasana. The chin can go back here if the neck is agreeable. Notice where your breath moves into here. We'll take one more breath. Coming up, sit your hips to your heels if that's available to you. Hips to heels if it's available. If this is not available, you might slide some blocks under your your hips, or just make a different shape altogether. Let's make our way back into all fours here. Spread your fingertips out wide. Press your hands down and forward. Roll your toes under. Let your hips go back, then take them up. And we're in our first downward facing dog of this session. For me, it's of this day and just making some movements here. I'm coming onto the tops of my feet to stretch out the ankles. Again, completely optional stuff here. This is just what feels good for this body of mine. 
from here, let's look forward. Bring your right foot forward in between your hands. And we're going to straighten the front leg. Keep the back heel lifting. Sweep your arms up. Keep breathing here. And bend the right knee. And we'll straighten. Just a few times, just like this. I just realized that I'm not talking to anybody. There's no one in front of me. It's kind of, kind of weird. Ah, but it's all good. And it's good practice for me, good teaching practice. One more breath here. Let the hands come down, frame your foot. Bring your right foot back into the down dog. Let your head go. Let's come forward into the plank pose, shoulder blades together. If there is collapsing going on in your body, please be mindful and drop your knees so that we're not compromising our low back or the SI joint. You can definitely create some strength right here. Let's come all the way down onto the floor. Take your time coming down. We'll come into a baby sphinx. So the elbows are under the shoulders, forearms forward. Press down through your pelvis. Squeeze your back body a little bit. Reach up through the crown. And you might even think about the back of the head reaching back here. And how's your breathing? Let's take another round of breath here. Come down nice and slow. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Come into all fours. Roll the toes under. Take the hips back and up. Hands are pressing down and forward. Hips go back and up. From here, we'll bring our left foot forward in between the hands. Straighten the front leg and come on up. Let the arms come up. Relax your face and bend and straighten here a few times. Just connecting this movement with your breathing. Good. We'll take one more breath here. Let your hands come down. Step your feet together. Feet about hips width apart here. Find your mountain pose. So we want to think about stacking joints in mountain pose. Palms can come forward so the shoulder blades come together and we're opening up through our shoulder girdle and our heart space. The heart space energetically is our place of unconditional love, self-love. And then from here, let's take the arms up, sweep the arms up, use your breath to let your arms sweep up. Interlace your hands here, reach your palms up, and we'll just go from side to side. Nice, come back through center, release the hands. Lift the heels. And coming back down. And with your breath, lift your heels. And down. And lift. And down. With your breath, soften your knees. Hinge forward. Let your chin come in towards your throat. Crown towards the mat. Nod it out here. Find yourself in a flat back. Keep your knees soft here. Resist locking the knees out. Draw the shoulder blades together. Keep your breath smooth. Hinge forward. Crown the head towards the mat. Press down to rise up. Sweep your arms up. Draw some positive energy down through your heart center to your sides, palms forward. 
So you can take your arms out to the side. I'm taking mine forward just for space sake. You can take them in any direction you'd like. Relax your shoulders and your jaw, lift your heels. Coming down slowly, soften your knees, hinge forward, chin in towards your throat, crown of the head towards your mat. Halfway lift here, get nice and long in your spine. Surrender down, come all the way up, sweep your arms up over your head. And release right down through the center here. We're gonna come into some standing postures, a little warming sequence. So we'll take the right foot forward. It's about 90 degrees, give or take a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact. Back foot's going to turn. We'll dial the torso for warrior one. So just bending your knee over your ankle here. Relax your shoulders. Try to keep your shoulders over your hips best you can. Arms up. Any shape with the arms is perfect. What feels best for your shoulders? Listen to that inner intelligence. From here, I'm gonna open it up into warrior two. So I'm moving my back foot just a little bit, letting my right arm come forward and the left arm back, gazing out past my fingertips. Straightening through the front leg here, reaching forward, resisting the urge to want to touch the floor. I like to bring the back of my hand into my inner calf, stack the shoulders, left arm reaches up, and maybe you look up. I have a cranky neck, so I have a tendency to look down. Keep your breath moving here. Letting your hand come onto your waist here. Bend your front knee, bend the elbow. Let's take the left arm by the left ear. One more breath here. Let the left hand come back onto the waist. Look down, let your hands frame your foot. You could always use blocks here. Pick up that back heel. Step the foot in somewhat. You could bring your hands on your shin here as well. Get long in your spine, and then we'll hinge forward. Let your head go. So if you're like me and you're a bit hypermobile, which means to over, over bend, a little softness in behind the knees, a little bit of softness so we're not overdoing Let me take one more breath here and slowly make your way up. So we're gonna do one balancing posture here. So again, we'll step the feet together. We're gonna come into the tree pose or Brooksasana. So come back into mountain, find mountain, pick up your right heel, dial the knee out. You might stay here kickstanding. Find a place that isn't a struggle, like we're not all struggling as it is right now. Find a place where you don't have to struggle. This yoga is about being gentle, kind, compassionate. The hands can come into any shape, any shape at all. This has definitely been a time of learning because videoing myself was something I was really never quite so interested in. And, <clears throat> and knowing how to do it. <clears throat> uh, but some of the students asked, will you live stream? Which we're not doing that, but we are doing these YouTube videos. All right. So it's, it's been a learning curve. From here, we're coming back to the front. We're gonna take the right leg back this time. Front foot's about 90 degrees, back foot dials. The 
foot is at an angle, shoulders come forward, just bend and straighten here a few times. Letting that left knee bend, sweep the arms up, keep the face, jaw relaxed. How's your breath moving? Let your left hand come forward, your right arm comes back. We're coming into warrior two here. Gaze out over your front fingertips. It's hard to think about anything else when you're paying attention to your body and your breath. Straighten your front leg. Reach, reach, reach. This is touching the floor. You might bring your hand into your inner calf. Press into it. Right arm reaches up. Look forward, up or down. And if, again, if you're hyper mobile, a little softness in the knees here. Let your right hand come onto your waist. Begin to bend your front knee. Let the arm bend. So I'm resisting here, not collapsing. Resisting, right arm reaches up. So extended side angle, look down. Straightening the front leg, walking your back foot in some. Hands could be coming onto your shin here. It'd be a good place to use blocks, but I don't have mine out today. And then coming forward, let your chin come in towards your throat. Relax here. Notice where your breath is, is moving in this shape that you're making. Beginning to walk yourself up nice and slow, stepping the feet together, finding your mountain pose, feeling the ground under you. And then we're going to move to tree pose. And if we really think about uh, a tree, the, the root system is deep and wide. So think about that with your right foot as you peel up your left heel, dial the knee out. <clears throat> And then when and if you're ready, the foot can come up higher on the leg. It's not required by any means. This is about finding balance. So if you're like super wobbly, could you do less and find more balance? And balance is just about moving through the center line over and over and over again. Hands can go in any shape that you like. And keep your eyes steady. Keep grounding and rooting through your right foot. Mm. We'll take one more breath here. Release, let it go. Walk it out a little bit. Maybe just take some time to notice how you're feeling while you're feeling it. How is this yoga practice uh, affecting you physically, mentally, emotionally? I know it's allowing me to, to check out of the ongoing concerns during this time. So just keep checking in with your breath. We're going to come down to the floor here. So just coming down onto the floor. Come to lie down on your back, feet about hips width apart, tuck your shoulders under yourselves. I like to bend my elbows in, uh, in the bridge pose. I'm keeping the chin neutral, lift the hips, and we'll just roll down. Being really mindful here, rolling up. And rolling down. This time we'll hold.
You might see about bringing your chest a little closer to your chin here. And the back body is slightly engaged so the front body can open up. And we'll come down. Once you're here, move in a way that feels agreeable to your body. So you might hug your knees in. You might do a little side to side here. Mm. So I have my eyes closed right now, but the rays of the sun are coming in and I can see it through my closed eyes. Let's heel toe together here. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a little squeeze and a little rock. We'll let the left foot come down here. Take your hands interlace behind your right thigh. Take the right leg up if it feels good to make a little movement here. Make a little movement. And keep pressing your left foot down. Bring your hands onto your lower leg. If there's room to do so, bring your nose towards your knee. Relax your shoulders. Come down slowly. Cross your right knee over your left knee. Let your arms open out to the sides here. And we're going to let this shape that we've made with our legs drop over to the left. You can gaze to the right if you'd like. Let your nose come up and bring your leg shape back up. Uncross if you need to wiggle anything out here. Wiggling it out. Good. And then from here, we're going to keep pressing our right foot into the floor. Lift the left leg. Interlace behind and just some pointing, flexing, turning. I'm pressing down in the right foot to help keep us stable. And then as you're ready, your hand might slide down further on your leg if it's available. Try to keep your shoulder blades somewhat secure on the floor. Option to lift the nose towards the knee. Release your shoulders. Release your head. Come on down and let your left knee cross over. 